My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We got a little monster right here. This 1967 Camaro has a genuine 512 block uh, that's the casting code. It's a genuine 427 motor. It's built, got performance turbo 400, 12 bolt rear end, California rust-free car, body off frame restored, uh, show condition. It's fast, just a cool little hot rod right here. It's actually, the more I looked at it, the better and better uh, I liked it. You can go to volocars.com. That's where you can read the information, study all the pictures, and you'll find a price tag on every car we have for sale along with a monthly finance option as well. That's at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on that bell icon, that way you'll be notified uh, when the new ones are posted. For right now, you better buckle up. Let's go for a spin. Yeah, sometimes, or a lot of the times, uh, when we get these hot rods with the roll bar and that, they're just kind of tacky and thrown together. This one's really nice. Um, California car, there's an L right in the VIN number. Body's been off the frame. Underneath is spotless. The floors, uh, the chassis parts, the A-arms, smooth metal, not even pitted. Uh, and it's all cleaned and painted a nice satin black. So the floors are really immaculate in this car. Uh, the front end was completely apart. The, the frame was off, it has new body bushings, all the steering and suspension's completely rebuilt and it's still clean and fresh. Uh, rear suspension has new mono leaf springs, uh, Caltrack uh, traction bars, uh, they replaced the shocks. A uh, custom three inch dual exhaust with flow masters. It has some short little turn down tailpipes. Um, disc brake upgrade in front. Uh, e brake is all hooked up. Brake lines have been replaced. You look up at the motor, it's spotless. Uh, you, I mean, you could lick the oil pan, the motor is fresh, the freeze plugs look fresh, the motor mounts are new, uh, high torque starter is new. It has a turbo 400. Uh, automatic transmission, it's got a heavy duty build in it, a reverse uh, manual valve body, uh, rebuilt drive shaft with a safety loop, uh, 12 bolt rear end, as one of the, uh, I think it's LRW uh, aluminum uh, girdle support uh, rear end covers on it. Uh, so yeah, underneath the car is really nice, very, very nice. The body, outstanding. Uh, I mean, it's dry clean metal, the bottom of the doors, the bottom of the fenders, it's all clean, perfectly straight. I already did my inspection just a minute ago. I didn't find a bubble, I didn't find a crack, I didn't find a bad spot. You know, there's always a little something going on somewhere. This body looks pristine to me. I guess you do have a hairline, uh, you know, just like a sidewalk. They put those lines in the sidewalk, it's where they want it to crack. There's a hairline crack right there, uh, and right here, same thing. But really, other than that, uh, no shrinkage, no bubbles, no blisters. All the body lines are just the way they're supposed to be. Everything fits really good. Uh, it's painted ermine white. I didn't even find a nick or a chip. Uh, no cracking. It's smooth, glossy, uh, really nice bright white paint. This is a fiberglass uh, cowl hood. It has a tall, probably a four inch uh, cowl on here. Windshields replaced. The rest of the glass, I believe, is original. The bumpers, taillights, and the bow tie mirror have been replaced. The door handle, the stainless moldings, and the grill look like they're original. It uh, has 15 inch weld wheels. You can see they're nice and brightly polished. Uh, wider in the back, of course. BF Goodrich tires, they're the uh, street strip radials in the back. Those are street legal. Looks like they're bald, but that's the way they're supposed to be. Uh, and then we have a couple of gauges uh, mounted out on the cowl. But uh, yeah, so far I was really, really impressed. The underside and the body is much cleaner than I was expecting. 
Why don't we open it up? We'll show you what's inside. Okay, I did say there were no cracks in the paint. I just happened to catch there's some really light little checking going on like right here in the paint. So I wanted to make sure I pointed that out. But while you're here, look how smooth and glossy it is. So perfectly clean metal, the trunk floor, the quarters, all nice clean metal. Uh, under the trunk lid and the jam are painted gloss white. Weather strip is replaced. You can see it has a fuel cell, 100 octane fuel uh, is required. The battery is relocated to the trunk. And the roll bar actually extends into the trunk compartment. It's a six point roll cage. Door jams are real nice and tidy and clean and weather strips and window seals were replaced. The interior is very tidy. The door panels replaced. The dash pad is in excellent shape. Uh, it does have original steering wheel has some cracks, probably the only bad part in the interior. And it does have a monster tack and, you know, various gauges. Uh, all the heater control stereo, that's all been deleted, so it's all removed. It does have a new glove box liner inside here. Um, does have new carpet on the floor. The quarter stick Hearst shifter. The front seats have been re-cushioned and reupholstered. The back seat is uh, looks to be original, but it's in really good shape. Uh, side panels are real nice. All the trim around the back window, headliner, that's all mint. Dome light works. This is a six-point roll cage, so it's a little uh, tricky getting in. I just sat down and swung my legs over. They do make a bar that swings out of the way. You can cut it out and remove it, or you'll just get used to climbing in here. Um, it wasn't too bad. And it does have a back seat still, uh, but whoever sits back there will have to do some climbing. Okay, this is, when I uh, said it's a 512 block, that's a term people call it, the casting code uh, for like a Yanko 427 or even the 454 LS6 motor, it ends in 512. That block is very valuable. Uh, so it is a genuine 512 block. It is a real 427, been professionally rebuilt. I have the card in the office of the shop that built it. Uh, it's actually bored. It's like a 434 is what it is now. Um, it's got a performance cam uh, with an external vacuum booster, a performer intake, a uh, big Holly 850 carb actually looks pretty new. You know, a premium fuel fittings and regulator. Long tube headers, MSD ignition. And it's just all clean and tidy. You can see the front suspension's all clean. It has billet pulleys, uh, one wire alternator. This is the vacuum. Uh, reserve because of the wild cam power brakes cadmium booster you can tell the master the lines it's all been replaced fan shroud is new the horns work has a transmission cooler mounted all the way up front here so it's not a race car this is a real high performance car but it's been driven on the street it was driven here a gentleman we got it from uh, drove the car um, so it's a hot rod, but it, it's not, uh, not a race car.
So there you have it. Again, I just wanted to say this car is cleaner, tidier uh, than I typically see these hot rods uh, being. It's, it's actually exceptionally clean. And again, it's a cruise night type hot rod. You can get out and drive this car, go get ice cream, go have fun. I'd imagine you could take it down the strip and have some fun with it there too if you wanted. Uh, but don't think it's a race car that you can't drive. This is definitely a car you can put on the street and enjoy. And it's not a lot of money considering what we've been getting for Camaros this last year or so. This one's very affordable. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can talk to the salesman. I just gave you my impression. Uh, they can help get this delivered to your door. They can help you finance it at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the bell icon. That way you'll be notified as the new videos are posted. Thanks for watching.